Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, chat, welcome back, chat, welcome back, chat, welcome back. What you up to, what you up to now? Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Put the W in the chat, put the W in the chat, guys. I'm out here, keep coming back to you guys, bringing to you guys one of the most important matches in the Premier League. And I got a lot of matches to react to, to match week six, I would say. Without further ado, man, let's go ahead and get it started. And we're going to start with Liverpool and Everton. You guys watch this game. What's, what happened? What, what was going on, man? What y'all think, chat? Let me know. Put it in the chat. Put it in the chat, man. What y'all think, chat? What y'all think? What y'all think about this match? What y'all think about this match? What y'all think? Let me know, chat. Put it in the chat. But as you guys know, this match was kind of, you know, in my take, it was boring match. It was not a lot that was happening. Um, it was typical Premier League match. I'm not going to say it was a typical rival game match. Nope. It was not. Nope. It was just a typical Premier League match. Not a lot was going on. Um, I know there was a couple... A couple of times that both game, both teams actually hit the post. Um, Liverpool could have won the game as Everton as well. So, but as you guys can see from here, nothing actually happened first. First, the first half, nothing really happens. And as you guys know, Liverpool's injury players, like the players that they were missing, especially their midfields and couple of strikers actually not all of them are missing due to the injury but some are like Diego Chota but uh Darwin Nunes comes back this match and he don't do nothing you know what I mean I mean he hit the post but that's not that's not why Liverpool bought him nope Liverpool want Darwin Nunes to start scoring nope you got to start scoring you know what I mean otherwise I know he's on I know he's feeling the pressure right now. He's about, he's definitely feeling that pressure. Um, it's part of some of them is it's his fault. Like getting that red card, like that was his fault, definitely, man. But as you guys can see right here, they bring on Firmino, Firmino, and Carvalho, which has like Carvalho, which actually had his first start for Liverpool. Um, so they replaced him with Firmino. And you already know where Liverpool is heading. When you know Firmino is being relied on, when Liverpool is actually relying on Firmino. Nope. That's how you know Liverpool are actually struggling. When you know that, like, Firmino is... When Liverpool are looking for Firmino as the savior. Nope. That's when you know Liverpool are not going to end up near anywhere near top four nope M like i guarantee you nope i guarantee you so let's see and over here they they put on robertson which i think is another okay player nope you know he's not all of that and look at here they take out arnold which in my opinion he's he's another trash nope Another okay player, I'm going to say. And they put on James Miller. Nope. You know what I mean? Liverpool are just struggling this season. It's just, I know, Liverpool fans, I know, I know, it's kind of hard to believe. It's hard to believe. But Liverpool are not near the way they were last two seasons. Nope. That's just the facts, man. I don't, I don't create these facts. I just bring it to you guys. Nope. Okay? So don't get mad at me, man. I'm just I'm just reporting this shit to you guys. I'm just pointing how things are. I'm not exaggerating. I'm not adding anything. It's just it's just facts, man. We just gonna we just gonna we just gonna keep it positively honest out here, okay? If you don't like it, nope. It's up to you, man. But um, and then as you guys see, Darwin Nunes goes out. After he don't really do that much in this game. And 
guess who's comes back who comes back for Liverpool? Diego Chota, which I think he is much needed. Liverpool needs Diego Chota like to get fit ASAP. ASAP. Because this guy was actually scoring a lot of goals. Even when uh Sadio Mane was here, even when you know Mo Salah is challenging. This guy is really, really good. So will Liverpool recover? Will Liverpool get back on their winning ways? Not likely. Nope. But we'll see. Nope. We'll see how it goes because they need to start winning if they really gonna end up anywhere near top four. Because, you know, this is a new crazy freaking season. This is not the typical Premier League season. This is totally different, guys. This is totally different. With the World Cup approaching, with Champions League, with players playing um, a lot of games, with less rest time, players going to feel the pressure, fatigue, you know, all sorts of uh, things are in place. So... I'm excited, man. I'm I'm really excited because this is gonna be a a difficult season, and I'm and I wonder how these players would handle the pressure. You know what I mean? So let's. So, for overall, the match was pretty. I would say it was pretty was pretty okay. Like I said, nothing dr drastic happened. And you guys can see it right here. The man of the match still is unknown. But in my opinion, I think this guy, the goalkeeper for Everton, is the man of the match. And you guys might ask, why? Why did you choose this guy? Well, this guy actually saved a lot of like a good balls that was going to go in. If, he, if this guy did not step up, if this guy did not have a great game, I think Liverpool would have won this game. No doubt. Because this guy actually saved a lot. A lot, man. This guy saved a lot, man. And and you will see. You will see the saves that he did. But uh, I think this guy should have been the man of the match. And maybe he will. You know what I mean? What y'all think, chat? Let me know. Put it in the chat, please. But Frank Lambert, man. Frank Lambert. It's actually, you know... I don't know. What y'all think, chat? Nope. What y'all think, chat? Because uh, I know we'll talk about Steven Gerrard and how he escaped from getting sacked. Um, it's still on the table. He might still get fired. But for now, he actually, you know, he's, he might be safe for a little bit. But let's go ahead um, and continue, man. This Everton player is... You already know Van Dyke. And this was pretty close. Like, this guy should have scored a lot of, like, he missed a lot of goals. Nope. Like, he missed a lot of goals. He should have scored. And this was one of them. This was one of them, man. But Allison, man, he did a lot of saves too. But, um, what y'all think, man? The Premier League, man, it's not an easy game, man. It's not an easy league, man. It's like a La Liga, man. Or Bundesliga. Or what was the other? MLS. Oh, did I say MLS? Nope. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry, guys. I should not. I should not mention MLS, man. But Premier League is one of the. Like, as you already know, the hardest freaking league. And, you know, that's why a lot of strikers struggle when they come to the Premier League. New strikers, they'd be like, you know, most of them. I mean, I know Haaland is succeeding. You know what I mean? I know he's succeeding the expectations. But um, as you guys can see, man, of course, Darwin Nunes. Of course, he's a good player. Like I said from the beginning, when when they when Liverpool bought him, he of course he's a good player. Is he gonna help Liverpool? Of course. Is he gonna score a lot of goals? Of course. But is he gonna replace Sadio Mane? Nope. The answer is no. Nope. 
because nobody is nobody can replace Sadio Mane. He is, in my opinion, he is one of the top players. There's a reason why Bayern Munich bought him that much record. I think that was a record amount of money. So, you know, congratulations to Sadio Mane, man. But for recognizing, you know, his talent and that he needs to win more um, trophies. So, kudos to him, man. But Liverpool are struggling without him. That's the God honest truth. If you don't like it, hey, it's all good. But the truth is, Liverpool are they're missing Sadio Mane, man. What y'all think, chat? What y'all think? But as you guys can see, man, um, this was one of one of the occasions where Darwin Nunes was actually attacking. You know what I mean? So, he, he, I mean, Pickford actually did a lot of saves, and that was one of them. You know, and you. You guys already, you know, it's one of the, you guys can see that, man. But, of course, this guy is a good player. But, and for Mino, man. Nope. I don't, I don't think he's going to, I don't think he, I don't think he can help Liverpool. I don't think so. Not anymore. You know, I think his time is done um, playing for Liverpool. I think he should leave and go somewhere else where he might really shine. Because, I don't know. I think he's coming to the end of his professional um, time. Hey, I'm just saying. Nope. I'm just saying, man. It's not like the way he used to be, man. I know he's still scoring, but you know, not as much expect, not as much as he used to, man. For me, Neil, man, was a freaking one of the top. He was one of the top, man. But for some reason, man, he's kind of declining, man. But this guy, man, put a put an L in the chat for Robertson, man. Nope. Put an L in the chat for Robertson. Nope. Put an L in the chat for Robertson, nope. man. Nope. Nope. Put an L in the chat for Robertson, man. This guy is really, I don't even know how he really made it. Like, how he really, really maintained to be a starter for Liverpool for so many seasons, man. I mean, he was okay, I guess, a couple seasons, one season, but I just don't understand, man. But as you as you guys can see, too, Allison forced a lot of saves as well. You know, Allison, was, Allison actually saved a lot as well. So that's how you know, man, if anybody's going to win man of the match this game, it's going to be one of the keepers, and it will be pick for uh, Everton keeper to me. So, right here, when we get back to the man of the match. In my opinion, this guy is the man of the match. He saved a lot, man. He saved a lot. He actually saved the, one of the crazy saves that he did was actually, it was going in. I think, um, I don't, I'm not sure who, was, who shot that ball, but it was going in. And he really stretched to reach that ball. And he tiny little touch, man. He forced tiny little touch to actually save that, save that goal, man. And that ball hit the post and comes back, which is unbelievable, man. So, give a credit to this guy. Shout out to Big Four. That's how you know, man. I would like I wouldn't imagine me giving out man of the match, man of the match. To a goalkeeper. But guess what? It happens, man. It, sometimes it happens. And in this occasion, this guy is the man of the match. In Liverpool versus Everton. But uh, that's pretty much it for Liverpool, man. I got nothing else to really to say about this match. Not a lot. Like I said, not a lot happened. But um, let's see what Jurgen Klopp thinks about it. Because uh, he always, you know, like, as you guys already know, he always shuffles. He always be like, he can never get to the point. He will always circle around the point, circle around the facts. Oh, well, we played, you know, pretty well. I just don't know. Uh, the keeper, you know, keeper did a lot of saves. Uh, we could have won this game. Uh, I just don't know. Like, you know, like some shit that. 
I don't know. Like, he can never fucking owns. Like, he can never fucking tell the truth and say, you know what? We didn't play like we supposed to. This is unacceptable. We should play better. We should do this. We should do that. Like, he's just going to be like, well, the boys are a little bit tired. You know, we played last game uh, three days ago, you know, and we'll, we'll try it again, you know, next game. And hopefully we'll come back. We're not going to drop more points. Like, what? <laughs> nope. Nah, man. Nah, man. It's not how shit goes, man. But let's go ahead and see what, like, let's hear what I'm talking about. Like, let's hear what I'm talking about because this is kind of crazy. Thanks very much. Thank you. Uh, I don't know how that finished nil nil. Could you sum What y'all think, chat? What y'all think, chat? What y'all think, chat? Because that was, that was crazy game. Like, boring you know and and like i said man he can never he's i don't know he's strange man he's not gonna admit like oh well we are driving points we're supposed to be playing a little harder a little better huh? the boys well we'll play on wednesday again we'll see you know we, we had a long hard game on huh? i think this guy you know he finished the like the reason why he was brought in liverpool to win a couple, couple uh, trophies, and he did that for Liverpool. You know, Liverpool have not won Premier League for a long ass time, and he did won for the Premier League. So, and a Champions League. So, what y'all want from him? You know what I mean? It's like his time is done, man. He don't really care if Liverpool wins again or not. I, that's and that's one of the reasons why I said Liverpool will definitely end up in um, somewhere, you know, behind top four. They're not gonna get top four. They're not going to get top four, nope. but somewhere close to top four, maybe seventh place, eighth place. I don't know. Somewhere like that, because you do not end up top four playing like this. I guarantee you, you do not. Um, But that was Yogan Club, man. But let's go ahead and talk about, again, that was kind of similar, but a little better. And that it was Chelsea and West Ham. Even though the results shows 2-1, I think the results should have, say, 2-2. Two, two. You don't agree with me? You should, you, should watch, you should watch the extended highlights again. I think so, especially at the end of the game. Because that last game, I mean, that last goal that was ruled out um, against West Ham was actually a goal i believe so let's see if they added uh that in the pictures let's see nope they usually did they usually do but they did not they did not but i wish i could show you guys but they're gonna hit me with that copyright shit man copyright claim and i recently just freaking settled my lawsuit so i don't want to freaking I don't want to risk it again, guys. I don't want to risk it again. So, um, please, if you want to see that again, just watch the like extended highlights and then go all the way at the end and see, see, you know, if you really agree with me or not. But honestly, I think this game should have been 2-2. But you guys, like, at this point, you know, if you guys been listening, what I've been saying is that the VAR... It's a double-edged sword. Sword. So it it can either help you or it can either hurt you. So you know the VAR man is one of those things. It, it, if you're you know sometimes it can help your team. Sometimes it can hurt your team. And in this case, it hurt like it hurt West Ham and it helped Chelsea. Period. You know so. It is what it is, man. But I guess congrats to Chelsea. And um, they actually gave man of the match Ben Joel. I don't know why. But, hey, congrats to him, man. Congrats to him, man. But uh, let's see, man. So as you can see, 
Like nothing actually happened at this match first half. Really nothing happened except a couple yellow cards for Chelsea. And that and that and that shows that Chelsea were actually getting attacked. They were feeling the pressure. And you see Lovsci gets the yellow card. First yellow card of the match. And you already know their new defender gets another yellow card. So you already see that. Like Chelsea were getting attacked. Get go, man. I guarantee you Chelsea was getting attacked. Yeah, they were playing contract there or, or here and there ball. But majority of the time they were getting fucking attacked. Even right here. You know what I'm saying? Um, Like right here. Even James Reese. I mean, Reese James gets yellow card. So that's like three, def I would say three defenders, two defenders and a half, probably three. I just call it three because he always goes back. Love streak always goes back. So I'm going to say three defenders actually got a yellow card. Almost like, um, yeah, like two of them got a yellow card first half and one of them right after they comes back from half time. And Chelsea makes two, def two um, substitutes. So they, they, they put it out, Plisic, and put it on Mason Mount. Um, and over here, as you can see, Gallagher goes out and Brocha comes on. And that's when Antonio hit the freaking net, man. You know what I'm saying? And Antonio, man, you guys already know by this time. Antonio, man, he's, he's, he's freaking fast, dangerous. You know what I'm saying? And he will always, you know, put the pressure on these freaking defenders. And at then Chelsea goes ahead and freaking scores the equalizer. And that was Ben Chilwell. And that's the reason why he got the freaking, whatchamacall, man of the match. Not only this, but at the end you will see you know what I'm saying? I think he he gives uh he gives a assistant right here. What do you see right there at the assist? Who assists that goal? Ben Chilwell. So he scored one. That's one of the reasons why he got it. So he scored one right here and and assisted one. That's one of the reasons why. I think that is probably why he got the man of the match right here. And that was it, right? But. In my opinion, right here, where they give that yellow card to Harvest, that, that guy was just, like, probably arguing with the ref. He was arguing with the ref because he was freaking furious, you know what I'm saying? Because he was, this shit was, uh, it was goal, you know what I mean? And then, I think West Ham scored the goal, right? And then, first of all, I think he, the ref said it was a goal, right? And then the VAR, you know, they call it a VAR, and the VAR ruled it out the goal and said, oh, there was a foul. They were like this. There was a foul right before, right, uh, there was a foul on the keeper. You know what I mean? Right before the ball went in. And that, and that was the reason why they ruled it out. So that was crazy, in my opinion. I think that was the... One of the worst mistakes VAR made nope. in history of the Premier League. Nope. I promise you, because this game should have been 2-2. And because of a VAR, this game is 2-1. So VAR, you know, give it's, it's kind of disadvantage. Like I said, you know, it, it can help you or it can go against you. Which is sucks, man. So, let's go ahead and watch these pictures, man. And you guys already see it. Ben Chill. So, let's see. Let's start with, actually, from the beginning. From the beginning. Or, actually, this is the beginning right here. I think this is when he was getting that yellow card. Um... But that was the first goal, man. That was the first goal right there. Antonio, man. This guy will always, I think, uh, 
nine out of ten. He would score from the big teams. He would score against the big teams. Nine out of ten, no doubt. Cause uh, he's a beast, man. He's a beast. He's one of the best uh, in the Premier League, to be honest, in my opinion, man. He's super fast as well. You know what I mean? That's one of the reasons why this strike, or this defenders get panicked when they see Antonio, man. You know what I mean? And you already see it right here, Suma, which is, uh, you know, he's 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 kind of, you know, he's okay, but you know. And right here, man, they're doing their thing, man. You know, they're doing their thing. Man. <laughs> Gotta celebrate, man. You got to do your celebrations, man. You know what I mean? You got to celebrate your goals, man. So right here, Antonio and Suma, man, having fun. And I will, one time I will bring to you guys, like, the best celebrations, celebration signatures of all times. I will definitely bring that to you guys. But, and then, boom, this is, was the equalizer. This was the equalizer. 1-1. One, one. And then he was going to give an assisting goal. But, yeah, I think that was his first goal for Chelsea. Let me know, chat. Let me know, chat. But this was the 2-1. This was the second goal for Chelsea. And this was the the goal that actually differentiated the two, between the two. And I think this was a good goal. Like, shout out to you. That was pretty good goal, man. And he needed that, man. He pulled it out. He pulled that out of nowhere, man. You know what I'm saying? And you see those like two defenders right here. Suma right there. Looking at the ball. Thinking, oh God. He's curious. He's like, what the fuck? What do you think that ball is gonna end up? Where do you think that ball is gonna end up, man? Where do you think that ball is gonna end up? Likely the back of the end. The back of the net. The back of the net. You know what I'm saying? All all these three defenders are curious. You know, I mean, at least this guy is trying to do something. At least these two men, they're just curious, man. They're like, this ball is, this ball is more likely goal. It's more likely, you know, that it's gonna end up at the back of the net, which it did. And there you go. Celebrate for that, man. And this guy gives that um, assistant goal. And man, look at the, you probably, you guys probably cannot see. Um, you probably guys cannot see, but let me show you. Look at this guy. Look at this guy, chat. Look at this guy, chat. Look at this guy, man. He's like, oh God, what did I do? What did I do, man? What did I do, man? Well, you could not save and you couldn't do anything about that, man. You could not do anything about that, man. And that was the goal that differentiates the two. And that was it. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, man, shout out to shout out to Chelsea. <laughs> Shout out to Chelsea. Shout out to Chelsea. You guys deserve that win. I, I mean, you know, the VAR. Besides the VAR. Fuck the VAR, man. Nope. Fuck the VAR, man. Nope. Because that shit, man, it's just, it always, if you look it back, man, the mistakes that it did cost. The mistakes that he made versus the correction. The mistakes are are higher right now. That's why I fucking hate the VAR, man. But I guess, you know, 
Fuck the Premier League as well, man. Because these motherfuckers don't really give a fuck. They just care about the money, man. They don't care if you lose. They don't care if you win. You know what I'm saying? As long as, you know, these refs make mistakes all the time. And nothing happens to them. They don't get fucking suspended. They don't get fucking fined. But if the manager tr tries to say something about it, they get fined right away, man. Or they get fucking, get like, yellow card or red card. Most of the time, they get a red card if they try to say anything about the game, about the match or anything about the ref. They immediately get penalized, which is fucking sucks, man. But that's that's how you know, man. The Premier League, man. You know, which you can't really do not can't really do much. But um, that's pretty much it, man. Shout out to shout out to Chelsea. Man. We're gonna, you know what I'm saying? Like, besides that VAR, this game could have ended 2-1, but it did not. It ended 2-1. You know what I'm saying? It could have ended 2-2, right? It did not. It ended 2-1. So, congrats to um, Chelsea. And let's see what their manager thinks about this, too, as well, before we end it up. Your emotions at this stage, relief? Yeah, yeah of course. It is um, super tough to score against West Ham. They defend deep, they defend with bodies, they defend very disciplined, and the game got more and more complicated with uh, the goal we gave away. And the circumstances of the goal were very, yeah, very um, controversial, but it was a huge effort to come back, and we came back. So, full credit to the team. The impact from the bench was fantastic, and uh, both players from substitutes turned the game around, which was very, very important and very, very difficult. So, full credit to everybody. You mentioned the word controversial there. West Ham's disallowed goal right towards the end. How did you see it? It's a clear foul on the goalkeeper. Never any doubt in your mind at all. No, I have doubts about the first goal. The first goal is, uh, but you can decide this. I paid way too much money since last time, where the things were totally obvious to everybody, and I got punished with huge fines. So I will not comment on on that one. You will uh, analyze it, and you will analyze what happened in the corner before the decisive corner for for West Ham, and then you give your opinion. You you will not be fined. You talked pre-match about the mentality of your players. You wanted them to be tougher. Do you feel you saw that today with the way they turned it around? Yeah, it was not easy Like to, to keep the belief. It's, it's very, very hard to keep uh, to attack fluid and to create chances against West Ham. Nobody, nobody plays an enthusiastic game. Nobody plays an open game against them. Nobody. I, I did not see one team to, to, have a, to have a spectacular match against them. You need to be disciplined, you need to be, take care about, you need to take care about the counter-attacks because of the speed and the danger in counter-attacks and, and the crosses. So we did all this very, very well, but um, yeah, you can never lose trust and, and uh, confidence because you lack a bit the rhythm. It's, it's normal, but it's difficult, especially when and the goal is not coming. And um, so we're very happy. Just looking forward, I know it's very early in the season to be talking title race, but now your squad is settled. When you get a re result like this, mm. how does it make you feel about the rest of the season and the ambition of this side? For me, the rest of the season is, is, is until Tuesday, I have to tell you. We, we take it now step by step. And uh, of course, I, I told you, we will, have, we will use this momentum. We will try to use this momentum of, of a finishing transfer market. Uh, for new commitment in, in this group from everybody from staff and players for now things are clear now we, we can we can um, we can demand full commitment 100% to, to everything like uh, how we live together how we play together how we how we act together and, and uh, this is uh, this is what comes if you have a win like this it helps you but we are in the middle of creating this and it's not finished we need to prove ourselves again on Tuesday All right, chat. You know, like I, this manager is, you know, sometimes they're just, they're just hilarious. The way they answer, the way they answer these questions, they're freaking hilarious. But you guys already see that um, he did try to talk about that um, that goal that was disallowed by the VAR. Like I said, if you try to talk about it, if the manager tried to say something about that, they get fine 
which which kind of sucks you can't say anything about like you can't say your opinion about a decision that VAR made that's kind of that's kind of suspicious that's kind of you know I don't like that kind of rule man you can say like I'm gonna say it for them fuck the VAR like like the, it, it kind of ruined the Premier League to be honest it kind of ruined, ruined soccer man you gotta kind of post the match Pass that shit and go ahead. Look at this, man. The VAR, in my opinion, made like made the Premier League worse, for real. Like, if one of the defenders get like uh like there's no hand to ball anymore. If that if the ball hits your hand, automatically nine out of ten, it's um penalty kick. Which is wild. Even if you didn't like have any control of like your hand and where it goes at that point, it still will be penalty. So they they kind of changed a lot of the fucking soccer rules, but it is what it is, man. Because otherwise, if you talk about it, man, these motherfuckers will ban you. And but what they can do, man? The Premier League try to fucking sue me. You know what I'm saying? Because I I. I try to, you know what I'm saying, be honest, man. But fuck the Premier League, man. They always try to hide, you know, the negative shit. They always try to hide the negative shit, man. And you, what you guys don't know, and I will, I will try to expose these motherfuckers. I promise you, I'm going to be exposing the Premier League. Um, I don't care if they sue me again. It is what it is, man. It is what it is, man. I don't give a fuck about this shit. But anyways, man, I think that's pretty much it. Sorry about that little rant because uh sometimes man these it's just it's just weird man it's just weird but anyways man hit the like button please hit the like button subscribe if you have not yet um but with that being said man i'll be back a little bit later i will talk about um aston villa and Manchester city and um spurs and a little bit of Manchester united and Arsenal, which will be playing tomorrow. Um, but that's pretty much it. Please hit the like button. With that being said, thanks for watching. Peace.